Alrighty, welcome to the second video that we're doing on Backcountry Navigator with the side-by-side -side ATV trails uh, on the Samsung tablet. Uh, this one is a little more advanced video. We want to go over actually uh, using it, uh, uh, looking at the compass, looking at the stats, uh, getting some uh, tracks recorded, creating some waypoints, things like that. Uh, as you further use this software and this tablet, you're going to really enjoy you being able to record your own little trails and your own little trips and uh, coming up with everything so so let's go to the tablet so if we look at the tablet if you notice at the bottom you always see this this uh compass uh and it'll actually tell you which location you're going but if you pull up on it it'll give you your location your altitude your headings like if you have to give somebody gps coordinates It'll give you different things like your max speed, the total time that you've ran, uh, moving time, things like that. And it's per track when you record it. But to get that back off, you just pull it down. But to pull up the actual compass, if you're out and, and you actually need the compass, you hit these three little lines. And you want to go to this compass screen. And it'll actually bring up the compass. And it actually gives you your heading. I haven't used it much. I, I don't know a whole lot about it, but uh, it's there for you to use. If you want to go to your stat screen, your stat screen will actually give you, when you record a track, it'll give you all the stuff that we were looking at below. It'll give your altitude, your 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 highest place that you went, you know, how fast you were going, uh, uh, things like that, how, how long you actually moved, how long you actually sat still. Uh, so it's pretty good to have some trip data sometimes, but remember, it's not all the time. It's only when you're recording a track that's going to give you these stats. So let's go back to our home screen. So we want to go over creating a waypoint. Uh, and obviously a waypoint, as we talked earlier, is any of these icons that you see, kind of like Ken's Cabin, Bartley Strip Mine, things like that. So if you notice in the middle of the screen, you'll see this, this yellow, and I don't know how good you can see it on the video, this little yellow plus. That's actually like the crosshairs. So let's say you were right here and you wanted to create like an overlook or uh, uh, a, a, a rock, let's say, or an outcropping or you know an old vehicle, something like that, that you, wanna, you may want to go back to, but you want to just make a record of it. Or let's say that road is rutted out. What you want to do is you want to hit this little button to the right and you touch that button and notice it puts a little drop point right exactly where that crosshair was. What you want to do then is you want to hit the mark. It'll pull up this new waypoint that you're creating. The waypoint name is here and you can touch that. I'm going to call this uh, waypoint uh, coal mine. There's a lot of little coal mines up in there. And um, and then I need to figure out a way. How do we get that little thing to drop down? There we go. Hit the back button on the tablet. That's how we do it. All right, so now that you've named it coal mine, we can actually go to the symbol of the waypoint, and we can change it to whatever you want to change it to. Uh, let's say you wanted to market a camp or a trailhead. Uh, maybe there's an attraction there. So let's just market attraction. So you notice the little star symbol. All right. And then over here you hit save. So when you hit save and go back, then notice the waypoint that we've created called coal mine. So that's that gives you a place to mark all of your little uh, places that you want to locate. Let's say it's a pretty waterfall, things like that. All right, let's say you want to record a track. So we've created a waypoint now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to delete this waypoint. So what you do is you touch the waypoint, come over in here and hit the three lines and you hit delete. Now we've deleted that waypoint and notice it's went away. So let's say you want to create a track. Let's say that you're on one of these roads and you're turning off of one of the roads and you want to go down and you want to track this track to see where you're going and you want to name it. 
So what you do is you actually hit your location button. It's going to come in. It's going to acquire that GPS signal if it didn't already. And then what you want to do is you want to come up and hit location. And then you want to hit record a track, which is right here. And it comes up with the track name. So let's come up here and name this track. And let's just let's just call it uh, coal mine again. Coal mine road. All right, and what you do is you hit start recording. So now your track is being recorded. So when you move, your yellow uh, uh, arrow will move, and it will draw a purple line exactly the trail that you're following. And you get to the end of that trail. You can mark it, you can mark it gas well, you can mark it dead end, whatever you want to mark it. But let's say when you get to a crossroads or you get to a point where you want to stop recording that track, you hit location again and you hit stop track recording. Now it's no longer recording. Um, so we've went over a couple things, how to create waypoints and how to create tracks. So let's go over reading the map itself. All right, so let's scroll in and look at the map. And we're going to show you how the map is written. So what you have is you have the HM trail, which is the Hatfield-McCoy trail. And then you have outlaw trails that will be named like Duskin's Branch or Open Fork. Um, and you can tell that, you know, just by looking at your map. So if you want to ride outlaws, you know, this map also has, uh, this software also has the Outlaw Trails in it too. So you can determine which is Hatfield McCoy and which is Outlaw Trails. Uh, like here, for instance, it gives you the Warrior Trailhead in War and your actual Trail 16 picks up here. And goes back into the Hatfield McCoy area. Uh, when you go to the Spearhead Trails, for instance, over in Virginia, It'll actually have spearhead trails on it, so it'll have an SP on it. So, uh, I hope uh, that some of the things that we talked about uh, helps you use this tablet and use Backcountry Navigator when you're out riding on those side-by-side -side trails. Um, let us know if you have any more questions. Uh, if you have any other videos that would you like for us to do, any help videos, or any pointers that we can put online to help other people out. So. Uh, Hope you have a lot of fun out in the great outdoors.